Oh, we're back. 2022 minus 80. Thank you so much for sticking around and checking this out. I know I'm kicking things off with uh, some what people would consider older figures or technically, you know, shouldn't have been out until 2022. Uh, these are the deluxe figures from the first wave of the Fortnite line. We got Sky right here. We got Jules and we got Dark Neossels. So uh, I got these for Christmas. I love them. And I really wanted to talk about them. So I know this this won't get a lot of views. I don't get a lot of views anymore anyway. But these are fantastic figures. And just shows off what Hasbro is capable of. With an amazing IP and whatnot. So yeah, I'm freehanding this here. But as you can see, Sky Deluxe figure comes with her uh, glider. Uh, Ollie, who is this guy here? We'll take a closer look. Boom. Cute. Uh, Nyasos, who is another deluxe, comes with his weight bench, which is ridiculous. Not a glider, not anything uh, you see in the game. It might be an emote. I don't know, but it's it's kind of a weird accessory for a Fortnite figure. And then we got Jules, who also comes with her glider uh, slash harps into all that stuff. And is an Amazon exclusive. What I found interesting about Sky and Jules is they don't come with any standard Fortnite guns which I guess is where those arcade cabinets, those $11, $12 arcade cabinets come into play, which do come with some weapons. But I think it's usually like one weapon, one weird accessory, and then like, uh, you know, a bomb, a grenade. So it's like one by one starting with Sky. So, all right, everyone, this is Sky looking fantastic. I do think her face is a little flat when you look at the side, but head on, it is a cute representation. It's cute sculpt, cute character, no credit to Hasbro, credit to Epic. Uh, but it is a good representation of the character. Her little beanie, which represent looks like Ollie, who also looks like Guff. I don't know who's based on who or what. Uh, Guff is a character who's like a, a an anthropomorphized version of Ollie. Uh, I don't know if there's any relation, but you can see nice little camera accessory. Kind of a kitty camera, so I assume this is a younger uh, character. Nice fur on the jacket. A little shiny for my taste. Uh, this blue, nice matte. They could be one with something like that. This is her back bling review that in a second nice little pouch with a tassel there nice to see that painted it is attached to the sweater which is tied around her waist this is a harder plastic uh, but it does get out of your way when you're trying to articulate the character uh, boots look nice nice fur laces painted all that stuff soles painted gloves um i'm assuming that's supposed to be her flesh it, it needed a couple more coats uh on top of that brown or red or whatever the base coat uh color is for these gloves but it is a gorgeous figure nonetheless onto her back lady uh, this is awesome i like this a lot a decent amount of sculpted detail uh and a decent amount of paint apps so you can see here this bottle like the top there i don't i don't think it's an all brown bottle and I don't know if the bottle is sitting in a sack or a pouch that is part of the backpack, but we know that top would have been a different color. Uh, but you do get this nice amulet hanging out from the back. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. You get your game, little handheld gaming console there painted as well. Buttons look good. And then you get these pins and this shield and this nice tree painted on the shield. So you can see the stitching sculpted. That would have been nice to see that in a different color. Uh, but you get this buckle painted as well. This is a one of two of her harvesting tools, which fits and slides in nicely. It looks good. The accessories she comes with are, as I mentioned, her harvesting tool. You can see nice and clear. You can see sky right through there. You can see a piece of folly right through there. Uh, she does come with two. However, her back link can only hold one. You can put the other one in her hand. I don't know in game if she does come with dual harvesting tools or if it's just the one into that i would and she does come with this uh grapple suction cup accessory so jazzers went ahead and used this uh i think this came with some of the deluxe figures and uh the larger scale figures like meow souls and kit and all that stuff so they had one it was a projectile you could launch and it was the suction cup stuck to a string i don't really like those uh the strings always just stuck to me so this is nice something you can have display on your arcade cabinets which are sold separately and i don't think are the cost honestly but you can see uh, when you open it you have a flat back here let me just show you the other one or you can flip it around and make it a gun rack for weapon storage so pretty cool huh so although there are no gun racks on the back of arcade cabinets in the game it is mostly for your accessories and your personal display
So I think it's interesting that she came with her harvesting tools and no actual weapon. But again, these arcade cabinets got you covered. Uh, if you think the value is worth it. I think they're around $11.99. And only one of them came with two guns. This one came with a sniper rifle and like another accessory and whatnot. But let's focus on the figures. Uh, this is a gun from one of the arcade cabinets. As you can see, she does have trigger fingers. And they look good. They're, they are the only set of hands she has. Um, and again, her accessory is this grapple. So it fits in there. And then we'll get one of the actual weapons of the game. And this one came with one of the arcade cabinets. And it fits in her hand just as well. So you can see Sky here. You can see a gap from her neck and her chest. Uh, that's because she can articulate her neck. Forward and back, side to side, and then her head is on a dumbbell. I don't really want to pull this apart because it looks like it's going to dislodge from the chest instead. Uh, her her shoulders are on a ball, and you can see she does have a bicep cut. That is pretty tight, so it is rotating the ball socket. But if I pin this down with my finger, you can see that your bicep cut is. Double jointed elbows with some dust in there or something like that. Or the plastic peeling off good decent range very decent range look at that i mean you could have her with a cell phone accessory if you wanted to and then her wrists are on a horizontal so no no this should be moving up and down i know a couple of readers talk about that all the time but they're not wrong i'm one of them um you're, especially since she comes with swords and you know can hold guns so whatever it is what it is and then you are getting a band up here at the top under underneath her breast and down there at the waist as well so it looks good. Look at that range, wow. And then as for her legs, you can see that moves out. This hard plastic does move out. Uh, is this connected? Yeah, it looks like this is connected to this thigh piece here. I mean, it isn't, no, it isn't. So that's why it moves out of the way so nicely, but you can get her to do somewhat of the splits. You can get it a very good forward, a decent back, thigh cut, double jointed knees, again, pinless as well, boot cut, and forward back, rocker, all that stuff. Um. I think these deluxe figures are expensive. Again, I got them for Christmas, so I wanted to showcase them here. Uh, oh, let me get this on her. So you can see, like, all the Fortnite figures and G.I. Joe figures. Back bling or backpack. Her Joe collector. It's on nicely. It doesn't add too much weight. She's still standing very well. Uh, so she comes with her glider, uh, which is a uh, theme to her, as you can see, the beanie and all that stuff. And this added, so the standard figures like, you know, Midas Rex, Chaos Agent, Jinx, and Ripley were $22.99, I believe. $19.99 in some areas, still the old Hasbro price. But these have jumped up to like, this is $34.99 on Amazon and Target and whatnot. And that seems kind of high in my opinion. I don't think this dude adds, should add that much. You know, I'm used to the Jazzwares $29.99 price point of Deluxe, which included like Omega and Ragnarok and... That was $29.99 because it came with a ton of accessories for you to snap onto your character and make them look completely different. Ragnarok came with different, like, uh, heads, you know, not just the face stuff since it had hair and you could armor him up. And just like the characters, some characters you get or unlock in-game and then you do quests and you can unlock armor pieces. So, like, let's pretend this is the new character, Shanta, who's in the current season. And she'll have arm armor, chest armor, leg armor, head armor. And you get those by unlocking quests and completing objectives and unlocking those and, and completing objectives basically and that's how you unlock them so if they came out with the shanta figure i would want some armor pieces i could snap on so i can look like i'm progressing through the game and have her at different states that's that's deluxe that's a lot and i think that's fantastic this this is just a you know a, a glider accessory and yeah it does have weapon storage you know you can basically spit him split him excuse me in half but i mean it's a hollow piece of plastic as you saw so I don't know why this makes the figure go from $22.99 to $34.99, not even $32.99, you know, for $10 more. So anyway, this is Ollie. This is her glider. As you can see, he's a big puff, big floof. Uh, there is a character named Guff, again, who's like an anthropomorphized version of this guy. And he's a, he's he's cool looking, man. I like him a lot. Uh, this is cool. They built him with a future flight stand in uh, mine. I believe we saw those on like Hasbro Pulse Con when they were doing some Fortnite reveals. So you're going to be able to buy some gliders and they'll come with flight stands and he has a hole for one. So that's nice. Again, you saw me split them open. That's good for some weapon storage. So she did come with an 
extra sword. And Thunder Grapple. I don't know the official name. It's vaulted right now, so I don't know. I just started playing the game in December, finally. So I'm not a poser anymore. All right. And here he is. And when you do get the flight stand, you can see he has these little thingies sticking out. I don't know what they would be called, but they're hooks for her. And you can see me holding her. And that's awesome, right? I think that's cool. Again, a little expensive. And I know I didn't pay for these. They were gifts for Christmas. But it's still a little pricey. All right, let me move on. All right, Dark Meowsles. We did see regular skin Meowsles from Jazzwares. A dog hair on him. Interesting, he's a cat. Uh, we did see the standard Meowsles from Jazzwares, and that was a fantastic figure. The character design itself is fantastic as well. Unfortunately, you are unable to get it as he was tied to a battle pass, and those are exclusive and tempor temporarily vaulted. I believe Epic Games loves money, and we will see those vaulted battle pass skins come back at some point. But... Let's focus on this figure. He looks fantastic. This is a cool looking character. Look at that. The face is flat with detail, but that's how he is in game. It's just basically, you know, an animated texture piece on, on this face. He does have his little earpiece up there or hearing aid. I don't know exactly what it is. Looking good. You can see he is scratched up there on his bicep, there on his, uh, his, his belly or right below his navel. He does have this tattoo, which is like a victory royale. Number one trophy. No tattoo there. Belt buckle looking cool. You can see a little kitty paw. Oh, he does have a scratch in his jeans. Wow, very subtle, very thin lines. Looks fantastic. Tail, which again, uh, I'll show you. You know, it gets in the way when you're trying to use his accessories. So again, deluxe figure, $34.99. Pretty expensive, if you ask me. He does come with this weight bench. Now, Fortnite is a game, it's a battle royale, and you just really, you fly, you dive into the island, use your, your, your glider to land safely, and then you find weapons, and then you kill each other. Weapons, uh, shields, bandages for later, and, you know, and heal yourself up. At no point are you ever on a weight bench or anything like that. I, I, you know, I don't recall. Granted, I only started playing the season three. Uh, chapter three, whatever you want to call it. So, forgive me, I'm, I'm very uh, dumb. I don't know why he can come with, obviously he's a buff cat, so, you know, he needs his workout equipment. But, I don't know if this is an emote, or, you know, same with this other dumbbell he came with. So, forgive me, uh, let me know in the comments if this is tied to an emote, which are fantastic. You know, usually those are, people know them who don't know Fortnite very well. You know, the emotes are usually like dances and stuff like that, but they're not always, or it could be something goofy like this. You know, so... All gold, interesting choice of colors, and his tail does prevent him from laying flush on there. You can make it work, obviously. You know, nobody just lays on a weight bench flat like they're reverse planking, but you know, there you go. His legs aren't flat on the floor. Again, the tail, and you can make it work. There we go. And then have him lift stuff. So it is a hollow. It feels hollow. No, maybe not. But as you can see, there is some weight to it. We get the curve downward. But it's nice that they painted these pink. And I don't even know what to do with this. Um, yeah, and then there is a towel, which is textured nicely. You can see, but that is uh, it for detail. And then the bench itself, the rest is all gold. We snap it in place. You can see this one is stressed because I left it somewhere where I shouldn't and it got laid on, so. <laughs> And this, so it pieces together really easily. It is a nice bit of plastic as you can see it survived being stressed and laid on and whatnot. And then you can fit these there. Or you could fit them down here. And I like them here. And there you go, you have this weight bench. At the very least, they're thinking of action figure photographers like these arcade cabinets, which can be doubled as props in your dioramas. This can be for not just me also, but anybody else. Let's get this off out of the way because I don't like it very much. His other accessories is this dumbbell which fits into his hand pretty decently. It is a loose fit. Uh, the fingers itself, the fingers and thumb ratio that I got there is pretty tight but you know, once it's in his hand it is a pretty loose fit. He also comes with harvesting tools which are much smaller than what Jazzwares offered us with the standard Meowsles. 
and it's the same goal. So I don't expect Hasbro to completely follow in Jazzer's footsteps. However, the original Meowsos is slightly bigger than the Hasbro Meowsos, Dark Meowsos, but not big enough to where, I mean, this is like crazy. So I would need to see these in game to see how big they really are. And then let's get them in hand. You get his fingers through the brass knuckle like part. Grip, and he holds this really well. This is looks great in his hands. And then not finally, he does come with this big, I don't even know what this would be. What is this, a mini? I, I, I don't know. You'd have to let me know. Nothing like this is in-game right now, so I'm unfamiliar to this. This could be a vaulted weapon. But this looks sweet. You can get it in one hand, have him cup it in the other hand. And then finally, uh, completely different from everybody else, I believe. I don't even believe the single figures came with extra hands. So again, they're thinking of photography or, you know, poses, stuff like that. Because, again, it's a game with guns and harvesting tools and other types of weapons. So at no point are you meleeing anybody. Again, there is an emote. I know where there's shadow boxing, so you can do or pretend that. And then, again, it's it's your world. So if you're taking pictures, you're not constrained or restricted to the mechanics of the game. Because these are action figures, and it's your world when taking pictures. Back to the figure, the final accessories are the sweet, look at that holster with the golden ball in there, uh, handguns. So these look great. I like when, so Midas was like that he came with like a couple of holstered weapons, Midas Rex. These look fantastic and they look great in his hands. Let me get that for you. Boom. These look great. I swear these weapons are sculpted so, or the hands are sculpted so well since the hands are different on every character. And they just grip these weapons fantastically. Let's get these back again. It fits so nice into the holsters. This is a soft enough rubbery material, but not loose enough to where you're losing these weapons off, out of the holster anytime you turn the character upside down. So looking good. Shoes look good. Hipsterish type pants, tight as hell. Hipsterish type shoes. Uh, different plastic. No, I guess it was a glare. Uh, it does look different though, right? From here to here. Anyway, final is the back bling, which is a ball of yarn with these mice grenades, which seems very appropriate. See his uh, bandolier, whatever you want to call it, has a hole through it to hover over the actual peg in the back of this figure. Oh man, look at that stress I just caused on this figure. That's crazy. This joint here wasn't bending. There we go. Not to bend. But damaged the look of my figure. Oh, that wasn't on camera at all, and I apologize. But look at that. That sucks. Well, I won't be bending his arms too much. Meowsos. Jazz wears meowsles. I almost feel like McFarlane and Hasbro aren't afraid to really... God, his legs are really stretched. The hands are like really warped right now. I don't know why. Anyway, as I was saying, I feel like Hasbro so far, like with the Chaos Agent, and look how skinny his calves are versus Jazz wears one. They aren't afraid to stick to the aesthetics of the game. So let me see if I have a McFarlane. I feel like those legs are pretty skinny and stuff like that and yeah they look good so you can see he is a bigger figure maybe you can't how can i do this and then they kiss so yeah there now you can see he is a bigger figure he is a wider figure a uh, different skin but hey this will do i think this fits in this will fit in nicely with this Jazzers, uh Hasbro line. So I'm sure because they have this mold, we'll be seeing a regular Meowsel set and you can retire or pick and choose. Maybe not pick up the Hasbro one at all because you're very happy with what Jazzwares has offered us. And I'm very happy with it, but I'm a completionist and an addict. So I will be getting the Hasbro version. Which again, the sculpt is here. Literally just need to repaint it into that version of Meowsel. All right. So for articulation, Nelson's head is on a ball. There is no neck articulation, obviously. 
shoulders on a ball. There is some butterfly-ish. It's okay. There's a butterfly. And the ball. Oh my goodness. Why is it so hard? Uh, that's about as far as I'm getting. Looks like the joint hinge or whatever doesn't really go very far. So you get your obvious bicep cut, your double jointed elbows, your horizontal hinge on the wrist. You get a more classic type ab crunch. A decent bend forward, a great bend back. And you get waist articulation, but you are kind of hindered because of this bandolier. Legs do go out to here. Or that far, you get your thigh cut, double jointed elbows. Sorry, double jointed knees. You get a, uh, a calf cut instead of a shoe cut, or since he's not in boots. And man, this dude's joints are the tightest of any Fortnite figure from Hasbro. I have... Steve, all right, so his ankle, at least on that foot, isn't budging. There we go, there we go, there we go. And can't forget that tail articulation. This is, oddly enough, the second character in this uh, Hasbro wave that has a tail. On to the final deluxe figure. All right, this is Jules. She is probably my favorite amongst these three, and in the whole Jazzwares uh, uh, and Hasbro Fortnite line. This is a fantastic representation of the character. I mean, look at the detail in her tattoos. Crazy, dude. I don't think, and let me know, what other figure has this amount of tattoos? I can't wait till they do a Midas, a regular Midas. That's gonna look fantastic. But yeah, this looks good. The face looks amazing. See your freckles there. I like the lipstick, pierced nose, pierced ears, eyeshadow, emerald green eyes, eyebrows looking clean. I am getting some discoloration there on the bangs, which is weird because the summer jewel skin, which isn't a figure, does have that type of color in there. You can see her goggles up top. This, what's interesting about this, is this is a rubber piece, and that's strange. I feel like in 10 years, this is going to wither away and melt, and you're going to have a topless jewels. And that's going to be even weirder because the breasts are sculpted into, into this piece. Uh, some people are losing that decal from messing around with it. Stop touching there. Simple as that. Uh, but yeah, the rest of the detail of the figure, we're going to get her into classic T-pose. Those splattered gloves looking good. Nice and metal there on the top. Again, more splatter on the fingers. She is holding her harvesting tools, one of types of harvesting tools, which I love. I prefer these over what the other accessories, and you'll see this rag looped over her tool belt is detailed nicely. You can see those ridges looking good. Looks like I got some scuffage there, so there is some detail missing, but that looks awesome. Nonetheless, buckles are all painted. Nice knee pads, looking great. Sculpted detail into those knee pads. Look at the jeans itself, also sculpted. Mud splattered there at the cuff. Missing the cuff there on those pants. And then these boots. Some straps. Nice soles are painted. Fantastic, dude. So this is a deluxe figure. This is an Amazon exclusive, and this is the most expensive figure in the line for what it is. Just like Sky, she comes with her glider which even if it is in pieces and different pieces and different iterations of it, I think it's too much money that they're asking for. So I'll show you that in a second. So like I mentioned, she is a character in the game. I believe you can add different armor pieces for uh, this welder's mask being one of them. So you could see. So this isn't the full look. I'll get a picture right here. But you do get a piece and that's interesting. So her back bling see some gears some some lines and all that stuff oh boy i'm missing that completely there we go uh so you may be asking what this is so she does come with ohm who is her mechanical owl uh this is one version of ohm so this version of ohm can you know, get his tail through this little metal loop here, and then his feet will clamp onto that. So that looks cool. 
that's pretty good. It does, though. I mean, this figure has some trouble standing, at least in my my version of this figure has trouble standing, so it is adding some weight. A uh, stand or a flight stand may be nice. Uh, I mentioned flight stand because she does come with this harvesting tool, which you see another version of Ohm resting on. The reason for that is he has these wings you can clip into, and that looks awesome. So she does come with this plastic piece and this circular piece. I don't know what it's for. I don't know how to put it together or what because we don't have a glider flight stand. But that's what this is going to be used again, like all either thinking ahead and getting ready for that. Um, and then this does come out and there is a version, which I lost in this place. There is a version of this piece without the owl ohm that you could put in here and then you have it as a regular harvesting tool, which looks pretty good. I just, I, I don't know what the heck happened to that piece. So back to Jules. Uh, forty one or forty two ninety nine or something crazy on Amazon. Uh, again, this was a Christmas gift, but even still, I feel like, oh, you overpaid. Uh, thank you, but that's expensive, and I felt bad. But you know, I'm happy to have this in my collection. Uh, and again, this is my favorite Fortnite figure ever at this point. Uh, you could see there is no neck articulation similar to Sky, so that's what's interesting about these figures, and I believe Hasbro stated it as well is depending on the character and how they look your articulations can be different across the board and we see that already with sky who is the third excuse me one of three female figures in the line you know they all have sky and links had double jointed elbows but jules has like almost star wars black series like elbows which is just one cut but gives you a decent range not not as deep or or as ranged as skies but you know they are what they are so her head is on a ball. You can barely look up. You can do tilt, all that stuff. Ball joint, but no bicep cut. Again, they don't want to maybe break up the tattoos. And then is there a movement here at the glove? Nope, but you are getting a horizontal hinge there on her hands. And then you can see the peg there. And then at the bottom as well. So you're getting crazy range again. These again, you see how this moves up, but it doesn't look good. Again, this is tied. I keep saying again, Jesus. Uh, this is not attached to the tool belt, so you see me twisting the tool belt. So, but it isn't a soft enough plastic to where it'll just fold up. You see these straps doing it, but the rest of it is a little bit too high, uh, it moves up a little bit too high. So, you get that range, but you do get your forward again, a high kick like Sky, nice back kick. You do get your thigh cut, you do get your double jointed knees. And they move nice, not as hard, uh, not as troublesome or a hard of hard plastic like the Dark Meowsos was. And then do you get a boot cut? You do get a boot cut, nice. And then you get your forward, a lot of forward, your back, and then your rocker. Fantastic, dude. Very happy with this figure. So why won't you stand, man? These ankles suck. All right, cool. Here are the three Hasbro Deluxe figures with a couple of jazz wares. You can see they still scale They still scale nicely. I am seeing the females are leaning a little taller and uh, a lot of these dudes are gonna look a little short next to them. I think uh, like Raven should be a little bit taller, but I don't know, that's just me. So here's Beef Boss and the jazz wares Peely. Looking good, again, you can mix and match. Beef Boss is a little bit taller, so. But his head is also hammered, so that is giving him some edge. And then with the really short black heart and the infamous legendary at this point, Skull Trooper. All right. And then here is one McFarlane figure, um, Drift. Again, these scale way too large, but they look fantastic together. So there are a couple of McFarlane figures and skins I feel uh, could could be large, you know, and fit in and look nice and stuff like that. So really quick. And finally, here are all the Hasbro Fortnite figures so far, except a quick little preview. I can't get this on camera without knocking stuff down, but that's coming next.
So thank you for checking this out. I understand they are older figures. You may have seen these uh, broken down individually on other channels, but I do appreciate you taking a look at mine. If I can ask you and take the time right now to ask you, I'm just repeating myself every day, all over this video, uh, to subscribe to the channel. So let me ask you kindly, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next one.